I was working on a project and I needed some way of uh, stacking up crates but have them look a little more natural. What I mean by that is I, I have a, a crate here and the pivot is actually set down at the bottom. So it's, you know, it was, it was built from a box. So this tutorial on how to build a crate like this is on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to add uh, an array modifier to it and you can see that I can go and add a whole bunch of crates here and I can stack them up, but I've got some problems with this. You know, one of them is that if I want some random sizes, well, that doesn't work so well. Uh, maybe I want to do some random removes and have some randomly removed from here. That doesn't work very well either. It doesn't make any sense. So instead of doing that, um, I have a ground object here that would represent a rendering ground. And I have another one here. It's another plane. And this plane, um, you know, I've set to non-rendering, turned it off in the object properties. And uh, what I can do is use that as a distribution object. So I'm going to go down and find surface distribution method in the array and then pick that surface and it's going to um, distribute them there. Now, let me just go and take that remove down and I'll take the, um, uh, the uh, scale back down to zero, 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 just so you see it all working. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to grab the plane that I'm distributing on and I'm just going to uh, copy it up, but not a copy. I'm going to say reference. Reference being that I can then place modifiers above it in the stack. So I want that higher than what the highest wood crate's going to be. So I can just push it up in the air somewhere there, let's say. Now um, we're going to need a copy of the um, uh, wood crate itself. This time it's going to be a copy. And I'm going to tell the distribution for this one to be the top, um, you know, plane. So it distributes above it, uh, up above here. Now, it would be really nice, actually, it's just as kind of a, you know, an extra tidbit in this tutorial. Wouldn't it be nice if this was a reference as well? So we, we can even make the reference here. If we go over the motion panel, go down and find the editable poly, right click, copy it, come on over here and right click and paste instance. Well, it's now actually uh, a reference as well. You can see the bottom's referenced and we've got this bar here that shows you where the reference split is. So with that, now we have this plane, but we want it to sit on top of the other ones. So I'm gonna use the conform modifier. And with the conform modifier, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the ground, but I'm also gonna pick the wood crates that are at the base. So that it's, it's is sitting down on top of those wood crates. Each vertex is hitting on top of one of them. What's really cool now is if I go down to the bottom and then go and say randomize the scale, you'll see that I can randomize the scale. Now right out of the gate, you can see the problem that I'm having. Well, all we need to do is turn on retain orientation on both of those array modifiers and everything's gonna work as you would expect now. So I can now randomize those and I can even randomize these ones. So I'll make these ones bigger and taller and I'll give them some other randomization values and maybe change up their seed a bit. So you can see they're, they're stacking properly now with random sizes and everything in there, which is really nice because it's starting to look more like a natural bunch of crates. Well, what happens if I do a remove now? If I do a remove, what you'll see is the ones above get cast down. So the plane is getting projected down. And when there's no wood crate below it, it's just hitting down to the ground. So it's dropping them down below. So again, the same thing what I can do is, is I can copy this up and we want an instance again. So let's start with the bottom one, okay? And just always start with the bottom. And I'm gonna throw it up there high enough. So sorry, a reference, not an instance. And I'm gonna drop that in there. And again, we're gonna go and add uh, the conform modifier and we're gonna add the ground and we're gonna add the bottom row of crates. So uh, those ones, I guess, and these ones. And now it sits up top. All I need to do now is again, uh, make a copy of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say copy. And we've got that problem again, but we should just be able to go on over and paste instance because we didn't do any other pasting there uh, of objects so that it, it, uh, it updates correctly. Um, and then we're gonna have to uh, cast that, that top one up. So that's gonna be the uh, third plane that we've got here, I guess plane six, is now coming down and you know collapsing down onto them. So it's collapsing down onto the ground, it's collapsing down on the bottom row of crates and the second row of crates. And so that 
new crate uh, that we've got, it's going to be using that one as a distribution object. And there you go. We can now actually have it have a remove amount. We can go to the second row and remove an amount and you'll see them dropping down into place. And we can just keep stacking them up this way so that we get these nice randomized um, you know, look and feel to things. Again, don't forget you can randomize the, uh, the seed as well and uh, you know, try out different seeds. You can also just hit the random button and it'll, it'll come up with some random distribution methods. So that's a great way of making you know, stacks of wood crates that look like they are randomized more.